Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabari here. Now this is going to sound completely different because I usually post all my videos by taking out my Sony HD digital camera Cybershot uh, called Zeist that I got as a birthday gift from my mom back in 2013 where I actually uh, post a lot of movie reviews and all this other stuff and doing my own editing using Windows Movie Maker you know, adding all the title fonts and all that stuff just to make the video look even better especially in high definition <laughs> but sometimes I do use my Dell webcam central you know just to post um, a different kind of video and a movie review too and do all the editing even though it's only in full frame but sometimes I can encode it by using high definition uh, 1080p because uh, they have their own encoder for that <laughs> and I do post uh, commercial breaks and all that stuff Yeah, okay but that's not important I'm actually recording this uh, through my microphone and it's a new microphone that I got as a Christmas gift from my brother Jason it's a blue snowball ice microphone that you can connect by using a USB connector and you'll be able to use it for not only webcams but also you know sound recorders you know, so you can create your own audio clip do your own editing with it as well and you can also um, use it for podcast uh, live streaming and all this stuff so it's really cool it's actually working perfectly it sounds excellent it actually records straight out of low volume so sometimes it does pick up the sound that's coming out of my voice yeah, if you speak loudly, but if you go far away, you won't be able to hear it as much. But it really works because that way I wouldn't have to deal with all the noises in the background that I often hear coming from my family. You know, they're always going around, you know, you know, yelling and screaming and just, you know, having fun, you know, just playing video games and all this other stuff. <laughs> you know, just so I, I can mind their own business. So you'll be able to hear me speaking. The only problem is I can't hook this up on my digital camera because it doesn't have a connector for that. So that's a shame. So yes, I'm going to suffer the sacrifice, but whatever. Uh, but it's a special gift, and I'm so happy that Jason bought me that. I figure, what the hell? You know, getting a mic would be nice. It also comes with uh, all the recording equipment to use, so whenever you need it. <laughs> so hopefully you can take it everywhere if you can you do hook this up straight out of your laptop okay uh, my next gift uh, that I picked up at Walmart yeah I had to go to all these other Walmarts to see if they have it but I finally got it it's the Wonder Years the complete series yes the Wonder Years the TV show with Kevin Arnold who's played by Fred Savage along with his along with his love interest uh, Wendy Cooper played by Danica McKellar he also has his best friend who's a nerd but he has a cool friend named Paul Pfeiffer played by Joss Silvano he also lives in the suburbs with his family the Arnolds yeah, Jack played by Dan Loria which I met him when we did a Q&A at Inclusion Films in Burbank which has just recently been moved to another location but he was a nice um, working but he's a nice uh, actor he's very but he's nice very talented and, and a great actor also a legend because he does a lot of theater acting but he has appeared in several movies and TV shows to date you also got uh, Ali Mills playing Norma yeah the loving caring mother who's just taking care of the house you know cooking and cleaning and going shopping and taking care of, of the family you know Good, whenever it's a good or bad day <laughs> uh, we also have um, an older sister named Karen who is a conservative hippie played by Olivia Doblo a British actress but she uses her American accent to play the role and then you got Jason Herbie playing the the complete bully of the family who's always picking on Kevin a lot Wayne yeah you also get some other characters uh, joining in such as uh, Robert Picardo 
you know, who's been in all these John uh, Joe Dante films, you know, such as The Burbs, uh, Gremlins, uh, Gremlins uh, Two, The New Batch, uh, as well as Small Soldiers. But he wants up in the TV show uh, Star Trek Voyager. So yeah, he's always been a fun guy to watch. Yeah, he's very funny. I, I always love all all the lines that he comes with. I mean, he plays Coach Couplet, and he, he's he's always energetic and hilarious to watch. Uh, you also got a lot of special guest stars to join in too, um, such as Soleil Mou Fry, you know, Punky Booster herself. Uh, you got Seth Green, Michael Ray Bauer, yes, Donkey Lips himself. Uh, Dustin Diamond from Say by the Bell. Even Mark Paul Glossillard is on the show as well in one episode. Um, even got uh, Juliette Lewis, Giovanni Rabisi. I know they later went on to do a film together called The Other Sister. But, of course, they've been doing a lot of films. Uh, you even got um, uh, Crystal... Um, yeah, you even got Crystal McKellar, yeah, Danica's sister, playing Becky Slater, yeah, my least favorite character of the series. Well, you know, well, basically because she goes steady with Kevin and it just leads to problems going around, jealousy <laughs> and stuff. And she's a bit of a bitch, too. But she is a good actress, by the way, uh, Crystal. She's very sweet, beautiful, and very pretty. Um, anyway, and of course, talented, <laughs> uh, just like Danica. Uh, you even got um, Fred's. Um, even Fred's brother was on the show too, uh, Ben Savage, who would later went on to do his own series, uh, Boy Meets World. Yeah, and I believe that was the Valentine's Day episode. So, so yeah, you, you got a great cast right there, and and. Also has uh, a lot of nostalgia with um, late 60s and early 70s, you know, during that era. And also it was narrated by an adult version of uh, Kevin Arnold, Daniel Stern. Yes, Daniel Stern from Home Alone, who played Marf. Uh, in fact, he was also in a movie together with uh, Fred Savage called Little Monsters with Harvey Mandel and his brother, Ben Savage. <laughs> anyway, um, this is a box set that comes in a slipcase that has a picture of both Kevin Arnold and Wendy Cooper. It has a long film strip that has uh, all the cast and, and crew from season after season. And it holds together on all six season DVD. And it holds together on six DVD box and it holds together with all six seasons that's all inside those DVD cases yeah the first season had uh, two discs while the other remains only add four discs but it does have special features the only thing that's missing is a bonus disc that has the last four discs and that's only available on the exclusive a locker set from Star Vista Time Life that you can get online or I think at retail well they did sell it at retail for a while but but you can't find it anywhere at this point well who knows but it's a very rare set um, it does go for higher prices but they but you probably might find a good deal on it if you can but $49.96 uh, for the uh, the general retail sets is definitely worth it but anyway the the locker set uh, does contain all these magnetic stickers where you can decorate on your locker plus it comes with two binders that holds all the disc yeah one binder holds um, free seasons uh, which has all the episodes, has the info and all the photos and everything. It even comes with a composition book that shows all the information, all the photos and 
all the trivia questions and answers and everything. Um, same goes with um, seasons four, five, and six. And it has a yearbook that has all the cast photos and crew, you know, just working around on set, having fun. And again, more info. <laughs> so that's definitely the definitive set of it. But there's even a, a soundtrack that they can include. Well, it depends on some sets that, that it has it. But it's not available separately. It's the uh, CD soundtrack for the series, so it's a shame. But either way, I'm, I'm happy to own it. It's, um, it's a wonderful set. I just wish I had the last four uh, bonus features. Yeah, all four discs included. So what they could have done was they should have added uh, another uh, DVD to, to put it in together. I went to Goodwill and bought eight DVD titles. Each of them cost a buck ninety-nine. Definitely worth it. But it had a yellow tax sale, so one DVD uh, actually took it off for free, while the rest um, were a mix of red, blue, and white tags. So what can you do? <laughs> I got the movie Monster with, with Charlie Farron, who won an Oscar for her performance, and Christina Ricci. The Other Sister, it was directed by the late, great Gary Marshall. Stars Juliette Lewis, Gina Vadi Bavisi, Tom Skerritt, and Diane Keaton. I saw this movie um, when I was in high school, and I really loved it since. Uh, it's definitely one of his underrated films. And very good, charming, great performance right there. And I could also see that it's actually <laughs> uh, my best friend's uh, favorite film, uh, Anne. <laughs> Ian Rodriguez, because <laughs> he loves to talk about this movie a lot. Yeah, I don't blame him. I got Mean Girls with Lindsay Lohan, Lizzie Chabur, Amanda Siegfried, uh, Amy Poehler, and Tina Fey. I saw that in theaters a long time ago. Really enjoyed it. But it's been such a long time, so I figure I why not, you know, pick up the DVD, even though it's only in full frame, not widescreen. But hopefully, I'll find a widescreen version someday. Otherwise, uh, I'll probably take my time and effort to find a Blu-ray release somewhere because, unfortunately, it's out of print. But maybe Paramount might uh, try to take some time and effort to put out a 15th anniversary edition. Now that Ultra HD 4K is on the way here. I don't know when it's going to happen, but let's see if they'll try their best. I also got the movie The Truman Show, the special edition DVD, widescreen, yeah, with Jim Carrey. It's a great film, wonderful. Definitely wonderful performances by Carrey himself. Uh, yeah, it's a movie about uh, how his entire life is one big TV show. <laughs> yeah. It's the reality show for its time. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, uh, I even bought the movie Gia with Angelina Jolie. It's an HBO film. It's actually one of her best performances. I believe she won an Emmy for that. Before she wants up winning an Oscar for her performance in Girl Interrupted. Yeah. Uh, but it's the original uh, DVD release um, that's not the director's cut and not in widescreen, only in full frame. But it's an older release. I could deal with it. Another HBO uh, movie that I picked up too is Temple Grinnan with Claire Danes uh, playing an autistic uh, girl who could do anything. She's very creative. Yeah, and, and Temple Grin is a legend herself, too. In fact, um, luckily enough, uh, one of my friends uh, actually met her. Um, in fact, uh, Danny Bowman, who's an animator herself, has autism. She actually, uh, actually worked together with her for a while and really supported her, too. Very nice. 
So it was nice for me to get it. I also picked up uh, Lords of Dogtown, the, the movie with Amelie Hirsch from The Girl Next Door, which I also have on DVD, of course. I was lucky to get that. It also had Heath Ledger, God bless his soul, great actor, died so young. I mean, he's been doing a lot of great films uh, during the 2000s. It's a, it's a great movie. Uh, very underrated. Um, it was actually directed by Catherine Hardwick, who directed uh, 13 and <coughs> Twilight. <coughs> okay, sorry. I attended that. That cough. <laughs> but everybody does that joke. Just to be funny. And apparently I'm trying to be. <laughs> ah, whatever. Okay. But yeah, she did direct it. And then she went on to waste her time and career. She did that awful Red Riding Hood with Amanda Sifried. Uh She hasn't done a good movie since. Sadly. In fact, that might as well be her last good film that she ever directed. So that's a shame. Um, and then finally, I, I got some clothes from Old Navy and J.C. Penney. Yeah, I, I actually already showed you the, the Grinch t-shirt with the pajamas. And I've been wearing all this other stuff, too. I'm even wearing my brand new shirt. That's Joe Cool. Uh, it's quite different from the other Joe Cool shirt. Uh, this one is in gray. It has um, the word chill out uh, at the bottom. <laughs> Uh, it's a very nice shirt. I love it. <laughs> so, and then I got a gift card from Target, and um, hopefully I'll be able to use that for other stuff. Maybe at this rate, movies <laughs> uh, for a lot less. You know, I'm always getting a lot of stuff, so you know how it is. <laughs> um, I mean, I am a movie buff, but that's all I got. Uh, it was it was worth it. So, I had a wonderful Christmas, uh, spent time with the family, you know, having a wonderful Christmas dinner, you know, such as turkey, potato salad, uh, rice, the other kind of salad that we got, you know, with tomatoes and uh, radishes included and lettuce, good lettuce, plus um, pumpkin pie and cheesecake and, of course, a drink <laughs> and bread to go with it, and then we just... I spent time just watching movies and all this other stuff, and then open some gifts. So. And it was fun. I, I love it. And I'm hoping I'm going to have more fun um, for New Year's Eve um, tomorrow. So I'm happy for that. So get ready for 2019. So, so there you have it. That's all the stuff I got. So anyway... I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.